Welcome to Sirens. I'm here at Cinemass in Microtech, and in this video, we're going to talk about ship weapons. It's a really nice shop, I like this one. Look at the textures on the roof, it's good. Okay, first, we've got these ones a Kruger laser auto cannon, I think it is, or maybe it's a repeater, I can't remember. But I tried them, they looked nice but they didn't really work very well so I don't like them as far as this goes. Tried these ones, so they're pretty good. They're new weapons too. Especially those light strike ones. Put six of them on the hawk. They worked pretty well. In the middle there's an auto cannon version of the same superior weapons. I've tried those, but I imagine they would pack a punch. This one looks cool. I haven't tried it yet. It's called the Joker. Kind of looks like a cannon. But, um, not sure how it performs. Neutron repeaters are great. I like the size ones. Six of them on the hawk, or the size twos. Put five of them on a Hornet. You can actually fit size three on a 325A and two size twos they're really good they high rate of fire do a lot of damage this one I don't know what that is either I've tried that but it look, again it looks like a mass driver or cannon of some sort uh, the Minskis have been around for a while they're laser auto cannons pretty good um, Laser auto cannons, I think that's a bearing. They've been around for a while. That they're, they're not too bad. There's another one over there. Or Minsky's. And these are tarantulas, so they're mass drivers. A bit, yeah. I don't really know if they're effective or not. I don't think they're very good. Alright, so when you're in here you want to head to the terminal. And after it loads, you can go up here. In the weapons, you'll find personal weapons, so guns and ammo and stuff. That's great. We're here to buy weapons for the ship. So, first one is missile launchers. Now, what you get with the missile launchers is these numbers. So, MSD, I don't really know what that means. Maybe it's missile ship. I don't know. <laughs> but the numbers mean something to me. What number one tells me that it's a size one mount. And then the number next to that tells me the quantity. And then the last number is the size. So for this this one here, it's probably one you'd put on a a Pisces. You get size one mount and you can only fit one size one missile on it. Whereas this one is a size two mount and you can fit two size one missiles on it. So that's probably the one that goes on the Aurora. The one I've got to look for. Oops, wrong button. Go to. When you go to Moby Glass, come down to the Vehicle Loadout Manager. Task Force. Those size ones, they're basically useless, but let's have a look if we can get more power. No, we can't. Because it's greyed out. The Herald can only have those ones. What other ships have I got? Terrapin hasn't got any missiles. Interceptor. Marksman's. It can only have size one, so it's tiny. Cutlass, I think I've already sorted the cutlass out. Series. Anyway, what you want to do is, I like to make sure these are all the same size, so I've upgraded all them on the cutlass so that they're size 3 arresters. So they've got weapon mount size 4, quantity 2 of size 3 missile. Which is pretty good, so I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. On the Hornet, I think the Hornet comes stock with 
some size ones in there but I've changed them out to yeah that's probably what they come with that one which ends up looking like uh, marksman size one and marksman size one but then if I change it to two one size two I lose one size one missile but I've got a size two missile in its place so they're more useful than size one missiles so that's the first thing I do with the Hornets I'll deck it out with those missile racks if, it, if you don't have missile racks from other ships you can buy them in center mass just have to know which ones you want to try and get so that you buy the right ones so I'll launch a two size two, two, one of size two. That's what I would have needed for that before. All right, let's move on to turrets. These are your gimbals. So a gimbal is a, a mount that goes onto the ship and then it reduces the size down by one. And that's when you can mount a weapon on. And that also allows the weapon to move left and right and up and down and works with gimbal auto aim assist. So if you've got a size 3 then you can put that on a size 3 weapon mount but then you can only put a size 2 weapon on it. It's a, it's a trade off. You get auto aim but you have lower weapon size. So the Hornet, I think it comes with mantises on the wings, which is size 3 mantis. But, like, it's great if you can aim perfectly on a pip, but that's really hard. So it's better, it's more useful if you can have some assistance with gimbal. And in this case, I'm using a neutron repeater. Got gimbal there, gimbal there, gimbal there. I pulled this turret off the Hornet, the Super Hornet. Come stock with the Super. I've just swapped it out. Super's got the soil big box because it's a bigger target. This ship is not as. Um, it's easier to hit in the F7C because it's bigger. So the store all big boxes on the super, and this one's got the on it up turret with the two size two neutron repeaters. So that gives me five size two neutron repeaters, and they can all be gimbal assisted. So that works pretty well. So for guns, let's have a look, we've got the 10 series greatsword ballistic auto cannons. That's those, I think that's the ones on the wall. Oh no, no, there's a different type. But again, they're mass drivers, uh, ballistic auto cannons, so it uses ammo. Um, then we have distortion repeaters. Ballistic repeaters, these ballistic auto cannons, they're, they're not very good. They've got a bug with them. Um, they look nice, but that's about it. I like the bulldogs and the badges. These are uh, laser repeaters, they're really good when you overclock them. So that's one I'd, I would use in the size, you know, for this especially for the Hawk, you can put six of them on it or the Hornet, you know, five of them Ballistic Cannons Distortion Repeaters that must be a different model, so that's a different brand There's the Dead Bolts They need to fix these models there not showing properly. It's been around for a few patches. 
Laser repeaters. Light strikes are good. Auto cannons. They're not too bad. I, I would use them. It's a different type of auto cannon. Laser cannon. No, it's a different size. They're the same. They're bearing. So, Mantis is a uh, Gatling. And then you've got your neutron repeaters. They're awesome. Minsky's, they're great. Fire burst scatter guns. Got to get really close to, for the scatter guns to be effective. There's that Kruger, the Quarreler laser auto cannon. I saw this is a ballistic, so. They do a lot of damage, but I've found that when you overclock them, they run out of ammo very quickly. It's a shame because I, I do like using them, but you can't get if you're doing an, any sort of NPC um, missions, you have to come back and rearm all the time. Salvation distortion. No, it's a scanner gun. So you got to get up close with them. Sledges have been nerfed in this patch. They used to be really good in the last patch, but they've done some changes and it's good. Strife, I haven't tried those, so that's something I'll probably look into. Size 2, maybe the Hornet could have them. Like a punch is uh, just, yeah right eh? I thought that was a scatter gun. It's not. Tarantula is a um, Gatling. Sorry, Tarantula is a ballistic <laughs> cannon. Tiger Strike, they're the ones off the Merlins. So is that. And the Yellow Jacket is a little Gatling. There's lots of different types. You've got some that use ammo, some that don't, and some that are repeaters, and some that are auto cannons. Anyway, so just play around with them. Once you make enough money, you can then just buy whatever you need to deck it out and just try them. That's what I've been doing is going into Dalamar NPC bounty missions with a new loadout and then just see how long it takes to destroy the ship. Just trial and error, really. There are sites that will help you, but you've got to question how up to date they are. Might have been from an earlier patch. Um, but Galog in particular is good if you're trying to find parts. You can do a search for find a particular item and it will tell you where it is. And you can go and buy it. That's handy. But yeah. Just um, play around and see how you go.